Howdy everybody, uh, we're back with the uh, LED music visualization project. Now, if you remember last time, I said I was going to do 3x3 uh, three three, uh, boxes for each LED. Um, I'm still going with that, and uh, that actually caused this to turn out a little bit bigger than I had originally uh visualized in my head so I think I'm gonna make this a wall hanging instead of a table but what we have here is uh, the basic you know empty box here um, you can see uh, each 3 by 3 section is marked off and has a dot in the middle um, and there are 14 across this way and seven up that way and I've also cut um, oh I can't remember what you call them mortise or the tenon or whatever it is but the little slots in here to put the slats in uh, so what I will do is um, each one of these dots is going to have one of the LEDs from the Christmas light string these hopefully I'll be able to do this without having to cut this up but um, there's going to be a lot of extra cable in there so we'll mount one on each spot and then um, the way this works you can see I've got uh, I've been busy cutting the slats with my uh, table saw um, so these short pieces uh, go across like this and fit in that end and then fit over here on this end and the longer pieces go across this way so there are two sets of cuts The short pieces go on top of the longer pieces. So you'll see that the cut halfway through on the longer pieces is on this top side and this this little cut in between each of the long cuts on the long piece is for uh, cable to be run through. Uh, on the shorter pieces, since they go on top of the longer pieces, the half cut is on the same side as the cable hole cut. So what happens is we put one of these longer pieces in like so. And you can see I have the ability to run the light cables through each in each section. And then This is hard to do with one hand. There we go. Uh, and then the short sides will go that way. And the reason I made the cuts on for the wires on both sides is because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that wiring. Um, but this gives me the option of going both horizontal and vertical, you know, regardless of where I am and where I need it. Um, so basically that fits, to, fits together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Um, also, I this is not going to be what ends up being the ultimate top to this, but I picked up a piece of uh, clear plexiglass today and because uh, it's not what I was looking for. What I was looking for was uh, a basically like a smoked acrylic panel. Um, but a, a piece of clear plexiglass, and I have a, cut it to the right size and applied, um, what do they call it, privacy film, window privacy film to it to give it kind of a ghost, a, a smoked look. And that will fit, although without 
the slats in there will have no support, but that'll fit directly on top of there. The problem with this is that it's still not, it's still too transparent. I don't want to be able to see the slats underneath. Um, now, I could have used the, the black uh, film, window film, but I'm not sure that that's going to give me what I want either. Uh, I'd much rather get the acrylic panel. Uh, they're just super expensive, and I can't find anybody locally that carries them, so I'll have to have it shipped. Either that or I'll actually get a piece of glass. I'd rather have plexiglass or acrylic. Um, but I might get a piece of glass uh, that is uh, smoked or sandblasted or whatever you call it uh, to diffuse the light because I don't want what I don't want is tight little circles of light. What I want is it to spread out through whatever this covering is going to be um, and fill up each individual each individual cube. Uh, so anyway, uh, next time I should have, let's see here, I can pull that off. I should have most, if not all, of the lights mounted in here and all the cables run. Um, and for the time being, we'll just deal with this, as this filmed plexiglass as the top. And we'll see you next time.